What did they say? Second. Tell me again. The police officer told me we have to offload all the luggage. Okay. And to search everything okay. of your luggage. I'm so sorry to, to say that. But isn't that what you planned on doing from the get-go? Why didn't you guys search it before it went on the plane? Uh, they did a, just a random a quick check, but now they want to open Why? it. Why? First of all, because you filmed him and he was like... Because I filmed bit, him? Yeah, he was like... Uh, he, do, he doesn't believe me that he don't have more with you than you say. No, he asked me, do I have any more in those purses? And I said no. And yeah. I asked him, where are my bags? They took my bags and put it on the plane before I could know what bags are on the plane. I see. Yeah. So. I'm so sorry for that. Okay, <laughs> of course. Undirected team, what's going on? Y'all see the title of the video? You seen the thumbnail? They got Nicki Minaj. <laughs> they got the Barbie. They got the Hirajuku Barbie in Amsterdam. She went out there to perform. She's on her tour. She had a whole bunch of pre-roll joints. And they found it as she was trying to exit the country. And they had to put their tax on it. So, I'm not going to say they're corrupt. <laughs> even though I just used the word. But they got Nikki all the way messed up, y'all. They got Nikki all the way messed up this is crazy now we got to preface back real quick guys team we got to remember back when one britney griner was caught with a vape pen <laughs> i can't take y'all this is not funny i mean Nicki minaj could have been a she, we we might have had to uh, exchange a merchant of death. Who do we got in custody right now that we could exchange for Nicki Minaj? Because she wanted to try to travel out the country with pre roll joints. Now, weed in Amsterdam is legal, but there is a limit. I think it's like up to five grams on your person. She probably is running with a pretty significant team, so... Five, 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 five. She could probably have like 100 grams depending on how many people she's running with out there. But it's just kind of crazy like, um, you know, getting caught with weed and firearms and bullets and all kind of different things in different countries. It's just, it's just not worth it at this point, at this point, y'all. Like, honestly. Um, what about it? I'm queuing up the next video right now because we got more. We got more. We got to go through, y'all. But listen, team, I just want y'all to know this. You're not Nicki Minaj. So I'm going to tell you right now that she was released. She's not in custody right now. All right. So that's spoiler alert early on. I do not want the Barbies to be worried. You know, I know y'all was putting your bail money together. Y'all were on your way to Amsterdam. You're looking up flights. You're going out there. You're printing up free Nicki Minaj t-shirts. Um, you got you got your printing press out. You're, you're mocking up designs. And there's no need for that. But there is a need for us to make sure that we prevent these things from happening outside of the United States of America. Or whatever country you're in. Do not go to other countries and commit crimes. Don't even mess around. Just If you're in another country, just stay away from drugs. Legal or not. There was an issue. There was a, um, there was a person that got caught with a bullet in Turks and Caicos. I might be mispronouncing the last part. I've never been. He had a single bullet <laughs> in his luggage. And I think he's looking at 10 years right now. Should we look that? Hold on real quick. We're going to look that up real quick. Before we move on, we're going to look that up. I know we're getting sidetracked a little bit, but I got to know real quick. Because I never did a whole... I never did a whole um, look into that. So we're going to look into it real quick. Turks and Caicos bullet. Suspended sentence heads home. 
He, he got freed. Wow, okay, eight hours ago, he just got freed. He just got freed. Hold on, no. Check it out, y'all. Hold on. I got it right here. I got it right here. I'm telling you, it's, it's no joke. Team, look, y'all are some of the smartest audience on YouTube. Like, y'all are very intelligent. Anybody that watches my channel that is a supporter of me is very, very smart. I'm not conceding anything less than that. But sometimes we make mistakes and we have lapses in judgment. And I do not want you to make this mistake. But you see it right here. American. American. Who carried ammunition in Turks and Caicos. Gets suspended sentence and heads home. Fate of other charge. Fate of others charged is unclear. So minimum of 12. Let me zoom in. There's four. I didn't even know there was four other Americans. So, okay, so hold on. But four other Americans still await their fate. In recent months, all were arrested and accused of bringing in various amounts of ammunition to the 40 island chain southeast of the Bahamas. In, a Turks, and Caico, in Turks and Caicos, possession of firearms or ammunition carries a minimum, minimum 12 year sentence. That means you're not getting out for 12 years, no matter what, under any circumstance. The hell? Get, get this off my screen. What's wrong with y'all? With these weird, anyways. Although the law allows reduced sentences under exceptional circumstances, like you didn't know that you had a bullet in your bag, he had a single bullet, not even a gun, just a bullet. So I guess there's four other Americans I didn't even know that are still in custody right now. He would have to serve the full 12 month sentence if the fine was not paid. Okay, so the guy that got released, he could either pay a fine, so it's extortion. In these other countries, and I'm not telling y'all not to travel, definitely travel because it's important to see the rest of the world and get different um, get different looks at the world. Like you don't just wanna be just trapped on your block for your whole life. But when you're leaving the country, do not commit any crimes, y'all. Do not play around. Don't pick up prostitutes. Do not deal with anything that is illegal. And I would honestly just say, look up the laws before you leave and just be very, very careful. Now, Nicki Minaj was extorted by the government in Amsterdam and they hit her with a huge fine and she was able to be released. But I mean, this is Nicki Minaj. She actually live streamed the altercation. So we're gonna play that. Now the first video we played to start out this was actually after the video I'm about to show now. But let's see what happened uh, when Nikki decided to live stream the whole ordeal. Crazy y'all, this is crazy. We got it right here. Carrying drugs. I'm not carrying drugs. Okay, but it's not a question you. Uh, I think it's. I'm not carrying drugs. Inside. Number one, when I came here, yeah. my the okay, back. Go inside. I'm not going in there. I need a lawyer present. <laughs> trying to send Nikki. Nikki said she ain't going in. I don't know where her team's at. It's almost as if she's alone. Like I don't hear anybody like speaking up for her or anything in the background. It's just her speaking. Like usually it'd be somebody like, hold on, what you doing? Like. Or, you know, those were my drugs. Like, her bodyguard should be like, hold on, that's not even... I'm taking responsibility for those drugs. Like, arrest me. Like, it, it's a very strange situation. You will get a lawyer. No, I need a lawyer present now. Okay, please. Where am I going? I have no idea where you I'm have going. You to go to the police station. What, what, how, what address is that? It's five minutes away. It's five minutes away. What's, what's the address of the police precinct? When you, uh, will They're going crazy in the comments. The barbs immediately are like, hold on. Like, I ain't gonna lie to Bar Hey, barbs, y'all be holding Nikki down. I gotta give y'all credit. I got to give the barbs credit. Y'all hold Nikki down. Get your next show, we have to do it very fast. And we will help, but 
For, you're talking about my show? Yes. What about it? Uh, yeah. We talk. Said they will help to try to get you there. They will help to try to get me to yes. my show? To How? Very uh, to do it as soon as possible. But what, can... what am I doing? What am I doing? I you never gave anyone arrest. my... I never... Oh, I'm, oh, so I'm under arrest. Yes. But yes. under arrest for what? Stop for you, no. I'm un... I gotta say this right now. These are some of the nicest officers. Try to pull this in Russia if you want to. If this was in Russia, Griner got caught with a vape pen. A vape pen. Cartridge, vape pen, THC. We had to give up the merchant of death to get her out. The, the merchant of death is on the streets right now because she decided to try to go through an airport in Russia with a vape pen. Amsterdam, they're a lot nicer. I mean, you can see this office is actually pleading where to get in the car. I mean, I'll give them credit. They're, 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 very, they're very nice. They're kind of like, um, maybe like Canadians, you know how they got that, that nice demeanor to them, like they're not overly aggressive. Under arrest for what? Do you know what happened when I came here? I mean, look at him. He's like, please just go inside. You have to go inside. He's over here begging like he don't want to put hands on her. He's just like, I'm just trying to do. I got to do my job. This is what, you know, our government told us to do. Like, I know this is some nonsense. Like, you got some pre-roll joints. You should not be going to jail for this. But we're going to have to extort you. So let's just do this easy you know we're going to take fifty thousand out your bank account you just made that on your on your show here probably way more than that actually so you know you're still you're still leaving you're still leaving up money right now we're just taking about half of your show money you'll be good huh what you said can you please stop filming and just step in the car first no i look at it please bro can you please stop filming and just step in the car first I'm sorry. Like, these officers are very, very kind. They're really, look at how nice they are. This is crazy. I need a lawyer, but I, because I don't know where I'm going. You will get a lawyer at the office. You can contact the lawyer, but if you just step in the car, then we, it will go as fast as possible. And who's going in, the, in, this, in this vehicle? So step he in will go car. with you. Yo, she's getting in. <laughs> she got in. Hey, Nikki's smart though, too. Like Nikki did not go crazy. Like Nikki could have wild out, got choke slammed. Like she was like, you know what? Let me just chill. Because the officers were being extremely nice to her. They could have been way more aggressive. I'm assuming they know this is Nicki Minaj and not just a random person. So they really didn't want those that smoke. Plus, she they see that she's recording. So if they know it's Nicki and they see her recording, they really don't want that smoke with America either. Because, trust me, Nicki gets arrested. Something crazy happens. Biden's getting involved. There's going to be all kind of back and forth. Like, you can't just arrest Nikki. But look at Turks and Caicos. They're still holding four Americans right now under the threat of giving them 12 years minimum in prison. Minimum is crazy. You don't even have a chance to get out for 12 years. You know how long that is? The people that probably got arrested are probably in their 30s at least. You're not getting out for over a decade. Crazy. So she gets in. They seal her up. And um, yeah. So it looks like it does look like I was looking. She 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 got out. They let her out. I want to go back to that other story though. I want to go back to that other story. They did let Nikki out though. They didn't let Nikki out. Um, and actually, let's go into uh. Let's go on to un undirected perspective. Um, and we'll wrap it up here. Um, 
I'm going to look more into that Turks and Caicos story because I knew about the one guy, but I did not know there was four other people still in custody in Turks and Caicos. So I want to look into that story more. But sticking to the Nicki, uh, Nicki Minaj team, this is just for us right now because... We're only as good as the person on our team. Like, so I need y'all. And I need y'all to remind me too. If I go on the channel and I say, hey y'all, I'm about to take a trip out of the country. I'm going to Japan. I'm going to London. I'm going to Africa. I'm going to see the pyramids in Egypt or something like that. I need y'all to remind me and say, hey, dot. Make sure that you check your bag. If you got a magazine in there. I don't do anything with drugs. Um, I did have surgery on my hands, so they gave me some Oxycontins, which I need to flush down the toilet, actually. I need to dispose of them. I didn't end up taking any. Um, after I got my surgery, I didn't take any narcotics, although they gave them to me. I just dealt with the pain. But... Let's make sure that we hold each other accountable and make sure that we keep each other out of out of harm's way, especially when leaving the country, especially with the turmoil that's going on right now. I mean, they'll literally hold you there for ever. And the laws are different. So if you're going to commit a crime, <laughs> make sure you do it in America, y'all. All right. At minimum. But I would just say don't commit any crimes because there's almost never a benefit to it. Nikki is out. She did have to miss her concert. I believe she was going to Manchester. Is that in England? She did miss her concert because of this interaction, but she's good. She took a hit to her pocketbooks, but she still has her freedom, and I don't think money is a big issue for Nikki at this point in her long tenured career. So, yeah, undirected perspective is this. Do not, under any circumstances, commit a crime in an airport, even in America, but absolutely not in another country under any circumstance. When you go there, you follow all rules under every circumstance, and you do not play around. If you're not sure, do not do it, all right? Because you're not Nicki Minaj, <laughs> and you'll end up getting a minimum 12-year sentence. I'm out of here. I love y'all, team. Peace.